if my accent, Brazilian accent, doesn't make this fun, maybe the whole theory and the practice could be, because to me this is very uh, nice and fast. Uh, so I, I do think that would, the lab will be fast. Uh, maybe the, the middle of the, the whole practice will be like, kind of boring because of waiting, but uh, we will reach this point. So uh, we are going to, to see uh, during this afternoon, the electrochemical cells and the kind of more dynamics. Uh, so, which, uh, what is electrochemistry? Well, electrochemistry is that area in the chemistry uh, that deals with the relations between the chemical changes and electrical energy. So, for instance, uh, this is, we could have the two systems. One system where we have uh, changes, sorry, uh, chemical rea uh, reactions it can be used to, to produce any electrical energy in cells that we call uh, electronic or voltaic. Or uh, in the opposite, we could have uh, another system where we could um, with electrical energy, we could use to bring another chemical change. That's the electrolytic cells. So, yeah, systems uh, where we will do this whole reactions, uh, we call cells. So, but we will not use during this lab this part we will only work with this system here through uh, galvanic or voltaic cells. So, this was the what. What we need so for doing this whole uh, experiment, we have to have 30 ml of one molar of both of these guys. And this. In separate tubes. So Here the the lead. I, I don't know what to say in English name here, but we have this solution here. We will put here a strip of lead. And here the another one. And a strip of copper. Uh, these two strips before putting them here in solution, excuse me, they uh, would have to be very uh, clean. Only, I, I just want the metal there with the, uh, interacting with the solutions. So, uh, why do I have to clean them? Can anybody help me with the answer? Contamination? Yeah, and perhaps maybe uh, the air here uh, help it to oxidize, maybe so the, the surface. So I don't want to see uh, anything more than the, the, met, the metal. So that's why I, I clean with some something like um, uh, sand, sandpaper. I think that's the name that you use here. Okay, um, while you're cleaning this, this both guys, I suggest you to, to, uh, to gain time uh, to, to boil some uh, solution of 1.1 this until uh, heat until boil in the Bunsen burner. 
take care because it's fire. So I don't want anybody uh, burning and thing, uh, with pain. So. Um, after boiling, uh, take this out of the fire and add one, one gram of agar. Um, this is a solid, so you have to stir all the solution until this uh, becomes a new solution. And then you will wait a little bit until cool, uh, but not so much, and we'll in, the, in this system here, you will, this is the solution, you will invert and you two and until almost fulfill this U2 here with this solution. This U2 has to be something like until half inch to be rich and here you put a full cotton blood. Uh, okay, with this guy there, you will um, connect these both solutions. Okay, so uh, does anybody know the name of this? This, we have to connect this, this, uh, this both solutions and these both strips. Well, uh, the both solutions are kind of connected uh, through this, but we have to connect these guys here using a voltimeter. We have to take care to put uh, the, the plus alligator clip at the copper and the minus at the lead. Then we will read the, the potential we will have here. If in some case uh, you notice that the potential uh, that this says is negative, that's something wrong. <coughs> Why? Because as I told you guys that maybe we are, that we are working with voltaic cells. So if you have any potential uh, that is negative, um, there's something wrong. Because voltaic cells are usually uh, spontaneous. So you have to remember that The variation of free energy for spontaneous reactions are less um, than zero, is it? Yeah, it is. If we have anything negative here, the results here would, will be the opposite of spontaneous. So these guys should be inverted if different than this. So, uh, you note in your report sheet uh, the value that you have here in the temperature uh, of the, the room. Now we, we did this step. We have to do for these two and three the same that we have uh, been doing to these uh, two guys here. But we have to work with another metals that is the tin and uh, with copper and lead with a tin. Is it tin? <laughs> tin. Okay. Uh, so, um, working with the background, I just forgot to, to talk about this. Like, if it's spontaneous, the reaction there, it will 
high. It's maybe because some of these metals have some, uh, more probability to, to become uh, in the reduced form more than another, another form. So, this uh, is a simplified uh, list that I took during this morning just to, to present, make it um, kind of hard that this reaction, that this method is, can follow. <coughs> Everybody knows that I mean, uh, gold uh, will not react so you can see that this guy is more uh, willing to, to stay in his reduced form than this or than this. I'll go wait for that to come. Yeah. Um, the guys that suffer the oxidation in Portuguese is easy to, to see to the oxide the because this sounds like donation will donate some electrons for the another pair will be uh, the anode. Otherwise, the another guy that suffers is the <coughs> so uh, for this we prepared and we record of all the voltages and temperatures. Um, what is important for this, and you will have to, to calculate later in your reported sheet, is that I want the, the house cells potential for the, the lead and then the scene, and after that, the equilibrium constant. How would you guys reach this? So, um, for the cow cells potential, we have this formula here. That is for the whole cell there. Is the potential or reduction? of the cat minus the reduction of the N. Um, and for the equilibrium constant, we had from the beginning there. But also, uh, the variation of the uh, free energy is um, this. So, as delta G is equal to delta G, we can do something. This done um, is kind of the same thing for the, the last part, but then you have to choose between these three systems. That uh, I would like to, to have this, uh, the, the first system just to be fast. So we will uh, reach this, we will put this whole system uh, in a big beaker with uh, this uh, pure water. 
and then you will set fire to this and to boil and not boil until you reach the 70 degrees. Uh, and then we will start to measure the voltage and temperature. You will take the fire off and uh, waiting until uh, the interval of temperature of 15 de uh, degrees Celsius. You will uh, annotate the temperature and then the voltage again uh, that you were reading. With these values, you will be able to build, to plot uh, a graphic that will uh, see the how how delta G uh, works in function for uh, the variation of temperature, uh, where I will not uh, show you the the right answer, but the slope of this or this curve should be the minus delta S. Yeah, that's all. So, it's easy. Thank you.